On today's collectible spot, we're having a look at the Mezco Cinemaphere Mezitz set. The set is dated 2002 and features the Mezco Mezzets, the early stages of the Mezco Mezzets. This is before they, they started going to larger scale. And as you can see in the set, we've got ourselves Freddy Krueger with leather face, and finally down below we've got Jason Voorhees. It's recommended for 18 or for ages 14 and up. Down below we've got the Mezco logo. I love that logo. A little bug going on there, a roach. On the side we got Mezzet's Cinema Fear on the back, a picture of the three characters, Friday the 13th, Jason Voorhees, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, Leatherface, and an Amor on Elm Street, Freddy Krueger. And indicated down below, New Line Cinema, dated 2002. So there you go. A relatively old set. I guess the set is, what, uh, nine, ten years old? So... What we're going to do is I'm going to get this opened up and we're going to have a look at the original Mezco Mezzets. So stay tuned guys, there's more on the way. Stay tuned. And inside the package what you get is a Club Mez Mezco uh, sign-up sheet. Um, doesn't seem to have a date of expiry, so even though this is a 2002 package, if you want to be part of the Club Mez, you can certainly sign up for that. Membership is $40. You get a quarterly newsletter. You get exclusive gear. Sounds good. Now, what you saw in the package was these three figures. You might have even seen the accessories. The one thing you did not see, though, in the package is something that when you take the insert out, you actually get as well. You get yourself cool little displays. In this case, we get the boiler room door, a little skull at the bottom there. So we can only assume that's Freddy's. Put that there. We get ourselves a bloodied table with a little uh, vice on the top there. I assume that would be leather faces. Because finally you would also get oh, my phone. A little message on my phone. You would also get yourself like a little crystal lake display stand as well. You've got some water going on there as well. And that would go, of course, to Jason. So even though you only get, only from the appearance you think you only get these three figures, it's neat that you actually get these little display stands as well. So let's actually have a look at the individual figures. First of all, let's have a look at Freddy Krueger. And yes, these are a little dated, uh, being that these are, what did I say, about 10 years old? About 10 years old, roughly. Um, they are probably, you could probably compare them to like a Mini Mate. They're a little larger than a Mini Mate, I guess. Uh, Freddy's face, you know it's Freddy. Um, it does, I wouldn't say it really looks a lot like Freddy, but it definitely uh, has a Freddy style uh, appearance to him. And he's got his gloved, his bladed glove there. Got some blood all over his shirt, all over his pants. Freddy's been doing some damage. He also comes with a fedora that you could take off. You get a very flat-headed Freddy. I'd almost like even like to have the hat further down, kind of like that. Um, the articulation would be all would be the same in all three figures. Um, I'll just take Freddy's head off for a second. A hat off. You get a ball-jointed head. You get ball-jointed shoulders. You get a ball a swivel. A rotation in the hand. Um, you get a swivel in the waist and finally you get a ball jointed leg. Now the one problem I have with these is something I'm gonna just mention now quickly. Um, the pegs, I'll see if I can do this show you here. The peg, you can see the ball joint right there but if you look at the peg right next to it it's very very thin. So I, I would advise some caution as I'm showing you Freddy's crotch, I would show, uh, advise some caution moving these legs and arms too much um, just in case you end up snapping off that peg. 
but uh, you get Freddy. Freddy's not bad. He's not my favorite from the set. Anybody want to take a guess what it is? Um, let's just put Freddy on his display stand. It doesn't look like they have any pegs either, so they kind of just sit in the grooves of the footprints of their stands. Freddy's not bad. I'm going to give him a six. Let's have a look at... Let's first have a look at his display stand. It's a very bloodied display stand. We've got blood all over the place. Vice going on there. The Leatherface has a little more going on, I think, than the Freddy. We've got ourselves the apron. He's got the tie going on. Some blood all over his apron, legs, arms. He's got blood all over him. Um, the mask obviously doesn't come off. It's just uh, it's part of his head. Um, the little cute Leatherface. Can we even say cute? Also comes with a little adorable chainsaw that you can put in his hand, like so. Let's see if I can get the other hand on. There we go. And you got yourself Leatherface with his chainsaw. Blood, of course, all over his chainsaw, as you would expect. The guy ain't slicing bread with it, after all. And uh, similar to the Freddy, the articulation is the exact same. Uh, but I like the I like the Leatherface. He has quite a bit of personality going to him. Leatherface, I'm going to give a 7 to. And I'll put him on his display stand. Finally, let's have a look at Jason. I've already shown you the display stand. He comes with a little Crystal Lake display stand with a Crystal Lake sign. And uh, I really like the Jason quite a bit. Now, just to give you guys a comparison, this is a 2002 Mezit. I want to just bring in a 2011 Mezit just to show you guys the comparison. Obviously, right off the bat, you can see the main difference is the size. Um, However, for the fact that this is a larger style Mezit, um, the articulation is much nicer on the smaller. And I'm almost surprised that I guess it was a cheaper, it's cheaper to make them, uh, to build them really just with the, you know, the set bodies a as they are. Um, but uh, I, I kind of like the fact that the smaller Mezits have the, the articulation, the ball jointed arms, the ball jointed legs. You know, you can kind of get a lot of, of movements out of them that you really can't with the larger size. And uh, obviously a question that you guys will immediately be asking me is, does the mask come off? The mask actually is not coming off. It is, it's molded. It's one piece with the rest of the face. Um, I kind of find it ironic that the, that looks like the axe cut. It's on, isn't it on the wrong side of the, the mask? Um... I don't know if I would say that the Jason is from one particular movie. It's kind of just an amalgamated Jason. Kind of looks like he's got the arms and stuff, and the the sorry, the body of almost like Jason goes to hell. Um, maybe the mask is also Jason goes to hell style. That might be right. Um, Jason, however, does come with a cute little machete. We'll just peg into his hand. There we go. Can't have Jason without his machete. What? Ample amounts of blood, as always. Um, articulation would, uh, you know, be the exact same as I mentioned already. He doesn't have as much going for him, but I really like the Jason, and maybe it's just the fact that I'm a Jason fan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A Jason fan spot loves Jason, um, but uh, I, I really like the Jason. And Jason, I'm actually going to give an eight to. They are relatively small, you know. They're older sets by, you know by all means, but I find these are just really, really cute. And it's really a shame that they uh, they didn't do more with these. Um, mini mates or really just like this Mezzet's style of figure would be ideal for like a horror, uh, a horror collection, you know, a Michael Myers, a Child's Play Chucky, you know, a tall man. Um, you know, they could have really done a lot. And uh, unfortunately, I guess we're probably not gonna see any more of these. Uh, but these are kind of cute, stylized versions of horror movie icons. Plus, I really, I really like the Jason. He's so cute. Today's collectible spot, we're having a look at the Mezco Cinema Fear Mezzets. This was the box set featuring a Freddy Krueger, a Leatherface, and finally, a Jason Voorhees. Thanks for watching. Let me know down below what you guys think of this. 
would you guys pick these up or would you if you know if these continue to be a uh, release from Mezco would you continue to pick these up would this be a line that you guys would support let me know down below and uh, I'm gonna wrap this up here thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time